guys, it's Queen, and I'm here with another Sims 3 store video. Um, today I'm showing you guys the Le Cinema Plum Bob venue. And I get a text message. <laughs> this venue was released today from the Sims 3 store. Um, it is currently available for 1,700 Sim points. That is the sale price that will be going on until March 12th. After March 12th, it goes to 1,900 sim points, okay? So, Le Cinema Plum Bob comes with 19 items, and amongst those items, there are some clothing. There is uh, two premium content items, and there is also this venue, of course, and some cinema-themed decor, all right? So, what this venue is supposed to do, it's supposed to be like the... um. Uh, non rabbit hole uh, version of a movie theater um and um, we're just gonna test it out today and take a look at it see how cool it looks if it looks cool at all and we're also gonna uh, play around with it a little bit and just you know to kind of give you guys a feel for this and then uh, so you can decide whether you want it or not and I'm gonna you know essentially tell you my thoughts on it as well so let's jump in Ian. <laughs> okay, um, like I said, uh, this venue is currently available for uh, 1,700 sim points. Did I say 1,000? I think I said 1,000. Anyway, 1,700 sim points, uh, which is about, which is 17 American dollars. Um, it's, uh, you're getting $2, $2 discount uh, if you buy it this week. I think these are called like the early bird sales or something like that. So um, it looks like this venue is like three layers. And looking on the outside, um, when I was looking on the website, I was like, why do they have siding right here? It looks a little tacky. Um, but you know, in game, it looks a lot better than it did on the website. I would, it would have, I'm no builder or anything, you know, I, I don't know shit about shit, but I think it would probably look a little bit better if there was like, if the siding was either like a deep red or just, you know, deep red, you know, cement walls on the side, you know, taking away the siding. But hey, whatever. It's not anything to, you know, down this venue about at all. Just a preference. That's all. Um, it still does look nice. It looks a lot better in game than it does on the website, in my personal opinion. But that's just my opinion. Okay, so uh, here is uh, my sim. This is actually my current household sim. This isn't her game that we're in because she's in university, but... Yeah, it was already a maid sim, so yeah. So this is what the venue looks like on the outside. And all that jazz. Nice little movie posters. I love that feel to it. Um, it looks like it would be a freaking awesome, um, you know, rabbit hole. <laughs> uh, but it's not a rabbit hole, thank God. Um, looks like some bars are back here. Some, some music you will get. Nice little seating area. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and check on the inside here. Let's go ahead and go down if I can figure this out. And then we're going to go ahead and put the walls up so we can get a really, really, really good look. Um, so going into the venue, you're going under the little times and stuff. Oh, movie starts at 7.30. Okay, anyways, so we're going in and this is what the, you know, the lobby area looks like. Alrighty, and since we're here, we're gonna go ahead and talk about one of the premium content items that you're getting, which is this thingamajiggy here. Now this is the barrier entry system. Um, it comes with this, which is a ticket dispenser. You click on it and you buy your ticket. Um, and then also, again, it's a part of a system, so it is um, kind of attached to these things here where you can uh, just pretty much have your sim, you know, get the tickets. Now you can set the locks here to, uh, this says allow um, green ticket holders that are also young adults and elders. Um, and this one you can, um, you can sort it by gender, uh, celebrity level, a sim's age, and it looks like there's different color tickets. I didn't see that. Uh, what's special? Oh, and even like, um, what's it called here? Your human races? I guess human is a race. <laughs> God, your, your races or whatever. Um, werewolf, uh, genie, you know, cats, dogs, zombies, humans, 
stuff like that. So this one is set to uh, green ticket holders that are young adult and elder. Why don't we allow adults that are older than young adults and older? Yeah, why didn't they do that? Yeah, duh. Okay, anyways, <laughs> and this one is for green ticket holders, same thing. Um, yeah, yeah, they're set, so red ticket holders. So you're definitely going to have to um, set those if you if you want, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, what's this? This is like a, this is a bathroom lock or something? Oh, it's just a, a lock to a little computer desk. Neato! Okay, these are actually kind of cute. These are really, really cute. I love, first of all, I love the design of this lobby. And this is just the lobby. We haven't even gone in the theaters yet. I love the design. I love the movie posters everywhere. Um, I like the little concession stands. This is what you get. This is uh, one of the bars in the bar stool. This is the bar, the bar stools here. Um, one complaint I have is that, and I, I, I know, I don't know if they can do this or not. So it's not really that big of a deal. But please bring back, like, make professional bars a thing. Like, if this snack bar looks like this and was a professional bar and you could actually buy candy bars and popcorn and stuff, that would have made this a million times better. Just my personal opinion. Um, but yeah, it does look really, really nice. I, I love the look of this lobby. Love it to death. Alrighty, so let's go into the first theater room that I see, which is this one right here. And this is what it looks like. There's a couple of seats. And, you know, I when I saw the, um, the early postings of what was to come in the Simpsons store, it said, oh, my God movie theater and I was thinking about how you know we would make the seats elevated and things like that and um of course you you know you can easily use the stage and whatnot um but yeah this is uh the little seating um little uh look at the rugs look like they have like little lights coming out of them that is that is neat and then you have your curtains your movie theater curtains and then this is the other premium content item right here this giant screen um it is called the large as life movie screen and when you click on it you click you can watch a movie action adventure romantic comedy comedy horror and drama Yay. So we can totally bring our male sims to the movie theater and make him suffer through a romantic comedy. Yes, we can. <laughs> All right, going back, and this is where you have, you know, your little, um, your back patio with the bar and some other stuff. God, I wish those were professional bars. Because I love the way they look. I mean, I'm going to replace them with professional bars anyway. But I love the way that they look. Um, so you, it, I'm going to hate, you know, taking away that look to it and that feel. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jump upstairs. And this is what the upstairs looks like. It looks really, really glamorous. It looks really, really spectacular. It's supposed to have this uh, art deco theme to it and uh, this just, this looks really, really nice. I love it to death. Absolutely love it to death. Are there any, there's no, um, there's no um, uh, theater rooms up here, is what I was trying to say. But um, it's a nice, you know, little gathering area and whatnot. And I believe that is it. Yeah, that is pretty much it. Alrighty, so that's the theater. I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys another, um, another look at it here. You have bathrooms and stuff over here. And there are a total of two theater rooms, which is um, which is nice and which is fine. So, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the walls down now, and I'm gonna have my sim. Hello. Her name is uh Janae Tinsley. Uh, it's an auto. It's an auto-generated name <laughs> from the game. Um, so we're going to have her come on into the movie theater and what's, um, which movie do we want to see? Let's go into this theater over here. What ticket do we need? Um, red ticket holders. Let's see. Buy a ticket. 
Zoom, zoom. Oh god, other people are coming. They're gonna ruin everything now. Uh -huh. Alright, so tickets are $10. Oh god, in Chicago, they're like $15, $20 for a freaking movie ticket. Alrighty, so we're just gonna buy one of them. Oopsie. I'm gonna have her buy another one because I didn't even think to look. I'm just like, you know, running here. Go ahead, buy another ticket. Red ticket. Neato. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and, um, let's see, um, how do we enter? How do we enter? I don't even know how to enter. Let's see, let's have her, we're gonna, I like to sit in like the middle rows. I never really like to sit in the back rows. How in the hell do we enter? Do we just like go in? Oh, huh. yeah. She just walked in. Did it take her ticket away? It did not take her ticket. Oh, are the locks set? Yeah. The locks are set. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see here. Allow. Yeah, I guess the locks are set. Did this buy a ticket? I don't know if she bought a ticket or not. I don't know. It doesn't take your ticket, though. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Not quite sure. But let's watch a romantic comedy, because that's probably all I'm going to watch. Actually, to be honest with you guys, I love horror films. And I love action films, too. Um, I hate watching romantic comedies. I only watch romantic comedies when I'm in a relationship because it kind of depresses me a little bit. You know, just me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So here's a romantic comedy. And, uh, looks like everyone else is kind of watching the movie, too. Or she is, at least. That would be, this would be really, really nice to actually come and spend the day. Um, I like it. I really, really like it. I'm going to see if she can actually, um, she doesn't have a blue ticket, so I'm going to see if she can come over here. Oopsie, not nap, but come over here and sit. And she got a moodlet feeling frisky. Uh, that movie has put your sim in the mood for romance. Oh, she's going to go, wait, no, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Why'd you go, where, where? Where is she going? Did I tell didn't I tell her to like Oh my god. Talk about being weird. Sheesh. Oh, she can't go in because she doesn't have a ticket. So it does work. I guess she just keeps her ticket. I don't know if they expire. Let's see. Oh, they do. The tickets expire. That is neat. I love it. Like, I really love this. I cannot wait to use this venue. Um, the only thing I would do differently is, oh, God, I'm going to hate swapping out these, these bars because they look so, you know, they give you that whole cinema feel. But I'm going to swap the bars out for professional bars, probably, most likely. Um, and I am probably going to, hmm... I'm trying to see what else I could do. I'd probably add like some video games up here or something, you know, how they have like little arcades within cinemas. I thought that would have been really cool. Um, yeah, yeah. So I will be using this venue in my university Let's Play. Um, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope it uh, decide helped you decide whether you want to get it or not. Honestly, okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna break this down for you like I always do. The venue is 17, well, let's say $19, okay? Um, there's two premium content items. You get the movie screen and the ticket system. Um, those are $5 each. All premium content items so far have been $5 each. That's $10. So you're, for $9, you're getting, uh, you're getting some clothing items, you're getting this venue, and you're getting um, some cinema-themed content. Uh, to be honest with you, as far as the content goes, I kind of like the content. Um, I like the um, the bar stools. Love the bar. Um, 
I wish they do place do some sort of update that turns all these bars into professional bars or something. Make them do more than just make regular drinks. I guess if we have the mixology skill, we could. But other Sims can't do that, so it just... I wish they would turn into some nicer bars. Anyways, um, I love this setup. I would have never created a movie theater this awesome. <laughs> like, I, I, I could have never done it myself. Um, so $9 for all of the extra content, I think it's not a bad deal at all. Um, it's, it's well worth. To me, it's worth it. It really is. Um, especially considering I paid $45 for Aurora Skies when I don't even look at the freaking sky. Um, so, you know, less than $20 this venue is here. I love it. I, I do recommend it. It's so cute, as you guys can see. Um... You know, if you can, uh, if you can create a better cinema, you know, you can just simply buy the content for $10 when it's uh, available for individual sale and you save yourself, uh, nine bucks. But, um, honestly, I'm, I'm very proud of my purchase and I am, I'm, I'm happy. I recommend it. And again, I hope this video was helpful. So I will let you guys go and I'll talk to you later. You all have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day. Okay, guys. Bye.